Hi friends, welcome to Python Tutorials. In this video, we are going to discuss about string data type in Python. Before coming to this uh, string data type, friends, if you are watching our channel first time or not yet subscribed, consider subscribing. Also, don't forget to enable that bell icon near to the subscribe button so that you will get a notification message whenever we upload a new video. Right, coming back to a string data type. So we know a string is a sequence of characters. And in Python, strings can be created uh, either by character or sequence of characters in the codes. And we can say these characters can be uh, our letters that is from A to Z or it can be uh, numbers from 0 to 9 or it can be uh, special characters. In Python, for representing this uh, string, uh, we can use a single quote, uh, double quote, or even we can use a triple quote. Right, we will uh, see some examples uh, using Python shell. We are going to create a variable str equals, in single quote, we will create the string. Welcome to Python. So now we will print this str. And here we can see the string. We will see some more examples. Suppose we are going to create str1 equals with a single quote its. Here we are going to use apostrophe its a python. And we will try it. And we will close this uh, single quote we can see invalid syntax. Yes, so here we used apostrophe in our string. So obviously we have to use a double quote here. Okay, we will uh, try that str1 equals, then we will uh, give double quote. It's okay, a python. We will end with the double quote. It's working. We will print str1 now. Here we can see the string. Here don't confuse because even if you are not using this uh, apostrophe, uh, we can uh, use a double quote. Uh, we can see one more example. We will uh, give str2 equals the double quote my Python program. Here we can see str2. Now we will go with the triple code. It can be single or uh, double. Uh, it's uh, used for uh, uh, multiple lines. Okay, we will see some examples. We will uh, take a variable str4 and we will give a triple code. Here we will give welcome to Python. Then we will press enter. Here we will give the next line. This is multi-line string. Then we will close this code. One, two, three. Now we can print this str4. Here we can see the result. Welcome to Python. Then we can see slash n. Uh, this is an escape sequence uh, for the new line. Uh, this is multi-line string. The second line. Even we can try with the double quote. We will give str5 equals double quote 1, 2, 3 and we will give welcome to python. This is a multi-line string 1, 2, 3. Now we will print this str5 and here we can see Now we will see string indexing or how we can access characters from a string. Yes, uh, it's like all other languages. The indexing of the Python string starts from zero. We will see an example here. Uh, suppose we will have a variable str equals we will give Python. And here we can see that string. 
here in python we can use a square bracket uh, to access the individual uh, characters of this uh, string right we will see that one by one we will give a str of here we can see our square bracket or we can say it's a slice operator uh, we will give the first index it's zero so here we can see it's p now we'll try str of one it's y str of two it's a t if you want to go to the last character here we can see it's index number zero it's one two three four and five so we have to give the index as five str of five it's n here we can see the last index number is 5. Now we will give the next number that is 6. And we will see the error message. str of 6. And shows an error. Here we can see index error. Uh, string index out of range. In Python we can use colon operator uh, to access this substring. We will see some examples str of here we are going to give colon symbol so here we can see it print python now we will try str of zero colon okay it gives python now we will try str of one colon okay here we can see it shows y-t-h-o-n okay here we can see the substring uh, which is started okay here we can see the substring uh, which is started from the uh, index 1 we will try str of 2 colon that means it will start from the uh, second index it will show t-h-o-n okay we will see that right okay so whenever we use this uh, colon operator uh, with a string uh, we have uh, two values uh, the stat value and the end value uh, here uh, we have seen uh, the, with the stat value now we will uh, see with the end value suppose here we are going to give a str of colon then we are going to give the end value we will give zero no character okay we will go for the next str of colon 1 you will see the result it shows the first character p okay we will go for the next str of we'll give a 2 it shows p y okay we will uh, try str of 0 colon 1 same like uh, colon 1 we can see it's printed p even we can try str of 0 colon 2 it's py we will see this str of colon 3 pyt str of 0 colon 3 PYT same now we will try str of 1 colon 4 okay it shows YTH how it works here we can see how it works we given str of 1 colon 4 here we can see the string it's a python and here we can see the stat values uh, its index values 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 and we can see the end value it's 1 2 3 4 5 6 here the stat value is 1 so here we can see uh, in index 1 uh, it's y and we can see the end value is uh, 4 so we have to consider the characters y t and h so we will get the result as y t h 
here we can see one more example is tr of 1 colon 3 so here the stat index is 1 uh, the letter uh, the character is y and we can see the end number is 3 uh, here uh, it goes we can see y and t so the result will be y and t we will try with our python str of 1 colon 3 it's not completed yeah it's yt here we can see one more example suppose uh, here given str of 1 colon 2 start value is 1 we can see the character y and we can see the end number is a 2 uh, it's a point into the same character y we will verify that using python uh, we got only y when we given str of 1 colon 2 yes here we can see that i think we will try one more here we will give str of 1 colon 5 so it gives YTHO. Here we can see Python allows a negative indexing for its sequences. Here uh, this uh, minus 1 indexing goes to the last character uh, in the string. We will see some examples for that. We will give str of minus 1. It will give the last character uh, from the string. It's n. Okay. Now we will try str of minus 2, it's O, str of minus 3, it's H, str of minus 4, yeah whatever, it's a T. Even we will try with the colon operator here uh, with the minus indexing, we will give a str of we will give minus 1 colon we will try it it gives n now we will try str of minus 2 colon we can see it gives the last two characters o n okay str of minus 3 colon h o n we will try with a uh, start and end value str of we will give uh, minus 3 colon 5 we can see it gives h o we will try one more str of uh, minus 3 colon 4 we will try we can see it gives h right now we will uh, see some string operators First of all, we will see a uh, plus operator. We know that uh, it is a uh, uh, it is known as a concatenation operator, and this uh, plus string operator is used to uh, join the strings. Okay, we will uh, see an example. Uh, here we can see our variable str. It's a Python. Uh, we will uh, create one more uh, variable str one equals. With the space, we will give a program okay now we are going to give str plus str1 so here we can see it shows python program it's just concatenated uh, these two variable values we can concatenate multiple uh, variable here we will create one more str2 and we will give execution here we can give a space then we will give a str plus str1 plus str2 and here we can see python program execution now we will see a star operator this st star operator is also known as a repetition operator usually this uh, star operator concatenates the, the multiple copies of the same string we will see some examples suppose we will give str into 3 so here the str value is python it's printed three times python 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 okay 
we will uh, try str1 into 2 whatever program program or str2 into 4 execution 4 times okay next we will see uh, in operator this in operator is also known as membership operator and this in operator returns true or false if a particular substring is present in the specified string better we will see an example we will see the value of str it's python suppose here we are going to give t in str this t is present in str we can see it's true yes it's there we will try caps t in str no it's not there we can see it's false okay we will try caps p in str yes it's there so it shows true now we will see not in operator uh, this is just a uh, reverse of uh, uh, in operator okay we will uh, give some examples t not in str we can see it's false because it is there uh, in this str variable and we can give caps t is not in str it's correct so it will return true uh, now we will see a string formatting operator we know in uh, some uh, programming languages like uh, C program uh, we uh, use percentage D percentage F etc same thing we can use in Python to map their values okay we will uh, see an example better we will give in double quote the value of string percentage yes right here we are to give percentage str and here we can see the value of a string it's python str value is python okay right so friends in this video we have seen string data type in python friends if you have any doubt any suggestions uh, please comment below and if you like our video give a thumb and share with all your friends and don't forget to subscribe our channel stay tuned we will meet again with the next video thank you